All right, time to get some lunch. Or at least I'm gonna get some lunch. Uh, you guys are gonna get answers to your questions. So it's a really nice day here in Tokyo today. Um, yesterday it was really uh, overcast. As you can see, the sun is really bright out. So today is day two for me. Uh, I spent most of my first day trying to figure out stuff, figure out all the signs and everything around here. So I figured today I would do some videotaping, uh, trying to find some uh, either takeout or some convenience store stuff, bring it back to my hotel, answer some of your guys' questions, and um, up the tunnel. 24 hour store, this always works. Looks like. Looks pretty good. Yeah. Ooh, what's this? Hmm. I don't know. Ooh. I don't know why, but this thing looks good. Look at, look at this. A rice egg ball. An egg rice ball. Hmm. Nothing in here, I don't think. Ooh. Coconut milk. Uh oh. Ice cream. Holy shit, look at this. Wow. Ice cream cone. Wow. Chocolate swirl version. I think that's enough dessert. Let's see now. What looks good and interesting? The chocolate melon bread. Oh my god, no way. Is this Choco Pond? I grew up eating Choco Pond. The only store in San Jose that used to sell it went out of business, so. Oh my god. I'll get it. I'm sorry, guys. I want milk tea, and it only comes in this one. Little kitty cat. That looks like a good lunch to me. Let's go buy it. Alright, lunch time. Let's see. You kind of forgot what I bought. Keep in mind guys, uh, all of these questions are right off of my Facebook and Twitter accounts. I will make another video of um, questions coming from you guys on YouTube. But yeah, I'm going to try to answer um, as many questions as I possibly can today. Um, hopefully this isn't too boring. Alright, sorry about that. Hopefully that's a little bit better. Alright, questions. I'm going to start one of these rice bowls. I'm hungry. Never really understood why they always use rice balls in a anime and stuff. I don't see people walking around Japan eating rice balls. On a regular day, do you eat till you're full or do you even know when you're full? Do you have to pay for your own travel expenses? Um, no. On a normal day, I don't eat till I'm full because if I did, I'd weigh like 500 pounds. You have to pay for your own traveling expenses. Usually, it really depends on the sponsor who's hosting the event and if they want you to show up. If they want you to show up, they'll pay your way. If they really don't care if you're showing up, then they won't pay your way. It's that simple. We get to see you do a healthy food challenge, maybe like X amount of fruits and vegetables. I can. A bacon or sausage? Bacon, Jesus. What are you talking about? Sausage is gross. What made you become a competitive eater? Um, a lot of people didn't think I could finish this five pound burrito. Long story short, I wanted to prove them wrong. I proved them wrong. And then after that, I signed up for a contest. Pocketed $600 for 10 minutes of eating, and the rest is history. How many challenges has your brother tried to mirror? You know, what was his best attempt slash numbers? This is a good one, because there's a story behind this. Once I joined Major League Eating, um, and I couldn't do the independent contest and challenges, I, he saw some opportunity in uh, taking my spot in Northern California and trying to pocket some easy cash. Uh, long story short, he did not do so well. <laughs> he did that high hop challenge that Pete did, he almost finished it, but uh, Failed. The most memorable one was I had leftover gyoza from one of my training runs and he wanted to see how fast he could do it. There was like 15 on the plate and he got through like 11 in 
like 30 seconds and all of a sudden I'm like, whoa, you know, we're doing pretty good. And then I saw his eyes bug out and he started like, like it won't go down. And then he had to like cough it up and re-eat it. That was hilarious. Have you ever instantly regretted eating something? No, regret is, regret is for losers. What is your favorite food, Matt? Um, Japanese food, hands down. I also love Korean food. Um, what food exactly? I don't know. I will say, this boiled egg and rice is absolutely delicious. I don't, I, I thought this was gonna be like a kind of crappy tasting health food, you know, boiled egg and just rice. This thing is good. Oh, it's like half an egg and then they put mayo in the bottom. Those witty Japanese on top of their game. Oh, there's more. Could you sing and play the guitar and videotape it? Um, I can. I don't really know what songs I would sing or videotape. First off, my singing is horrible, and I don't have any songs I've written yet. I think many people just want to know your romantic side too. Alright, next question. Are you afraid of diabetes? No. Does eating that much cause you discomfort or pain? You damn bet it does. The thing is, and this is going to sound a little arrogant, but um, there's a reason why I'm currently ranked number two in the world. Why, out of all the people in the world, there are only one, officially, maybe two or three other people that can beat me. Because I've put myself through all the pain and effort of training to uh, get to where I'm at. Probably get this a lot, Matt, but uh, how often do you eat or how often do you eat large quantities of food? The past few months, I haven't been doing too much. Mainly about one video a week, just to keep up with my YouTube. Usually from about. March to August is when there's a lot of contests, and I'm doing maybe two to three things per week, like including videos and training. But you know, for the past few months, I've been taking it relatively easy. Are you old enough for beer drinking challenges? And if so, Guzzle 40. Um, I am old enough. I could Guzzle 40 out for you, but um, I hate to break it to you, I'd rather drink my kitty cat milk tea. Chocolate pond. This is so great. Don't forget these questions. What oh, wonderful chocolate pond. I oh, missed you so. What oh, round you so? Made out of chocolate and uh, delicious dough. As a fan, ever come up to you in public? Um, yeah. It is really the most amazing feeling to uh, have somebody recognize you just walking down the street. One of the guys actually recognized Morgan. So Morgan's getting his own share of fame too. What was the first job in your life? Uh, selling fake food to my family members for like a quarter. <laughs> I'm serious, I used to do that when I was a kid. I'd make these little pillow forts. And I used to have this like fake cooking set that my grandparents had for whatever reason. And I used to like cook up eggs and sell it to my parents for like a nickel. And my dad asked for his money back and I was like, no, he bought the food. I, I was an entrepreneur, I'd keep that money. Inbox, I sent you an important email. It must not have been that important. What is this? Oh, flame. It's like chicken pasta with um, some sort of tomato based sauce and a slice of cheese and a better rice. And also, this foot looks to be potato salad. Well, one thing for sure you can't get chicken this good at any 24 hour gas station in America. ever take on the LA Beast in an eating stunt? Any day, any time, anywhere. The LA Beast is an amazing YouTuber. Um, I love his videos. Many of you probably know who he is. He's got a giant channel. If you don't know who he is already, check him out. And before any of you start dumping on the LA Beast saying I'd kick his ass at any eating stunt challenge, I would not. The question was an eating stunt, not an eating contest. He recently ate two cactuses, two cacti. I couldn't do that. And same with all those hot pepper eats. I couldn't, yeah. But I could destroy them at any eating contest with my eyes closed. So you heard it. I'd take on the LA Beast any day. What are your favorite bands slash albums of all time? Top 10. That's really hard for me to answer. Off the top of my head, a few bands come to mind. Um, first to last, brand new, The Used, Pierce the Veal, Thrice, um, that's five. I know the top 10 somewhere in my head. I can't think of them all right now. I'll put a list right here to my top nine bands of all time. And the 10th band slash artist, um, I'm going to leave a secret. Why? Um, because 
I think it'd be interesting to see what type of music you guys think I listen to. I'll give you a few clues real quick. First off, they're easily on my top three favorite band artists currently. Second off, um, it is nothing like any of the music else that's here, which is kind of weird because it's weird that I would only like one band in a certain genre of music. The last hint is they're an international artist. Um, they're actually very popular, so it's not one of these underground bands that you've never heard of. They are a popular artist, so many of you probably know who it is, but many of you are never going to guess who it is. Have you ever puked after one of your videos or after an eating competition? I'm not going to lie, it happens. Especially when I do really, really disgustingly big stuff. It's definitely not the most pleasant thing in the world, um, and it's definitely not the type of thing that um, people say much, but it's, you know, that's the way it is. So yeah, it happens sometimes, unfortunately, but um... Have you gotten any cool fan mail since you got the P.O. Box? Hell yeah. Do you shower facing the shower head or away from it? Uh, face the shower head. Matt, why don't you just do an AMA on Reddit? I'm going to. Bro Megatoad, will you be making new merchandise for yourself anytime soon? Uh, I don't know. I do need to put a new order in for shirts, I ran out of mediums. Do you use your eating skills as a way to impress girls? <laughs> How do they react when you tell them this is your sport? No, I don't um, use my competitive eating status to uh, impress the ladies. I don't think that would be impressive. I mean, maybe. Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. Maybe someday I'll try it out, but uh, as of right now, I have not. Alright, well that's it for Facebook. Um, let's open this thing. I'm very proud right now because I legitimately read this kanji without searching it up on Google. It says salmon. I know it says salmon. I don't know what any of this other stuff is. Though. What the hell? False advertising. Look at that. The seaweed was not surrounding the rice. What a chip. Or maybe. Ah, uh, this keeps the seaweed nice and crisp. Instead of absorbing the moisture of the rice. This is so. Oh, well, they got their measurements a little bit wrong here. Look at that. Damn right, though, salmon. I don't know what this is, but uh, I'll find out in a second. Let's pop this in the mouth. This is a very Americanized bento. Don't think I've eaten pasta in Japan, but uh. Let's see what this is. What is this? I'm a little scared. It's got some green stuff, got some potatoes, some corn, some onions, some white. Oh, there's pasta on the bottom. Another pasta dish. Jeez. I can't figure out what this white stuff is. Hot potato. This is spinach. Onion, corn. Pasta. What the hell is this white stuff? I still have no clue what this is. Like, it looks kind of like egg, like egg whites, but a lot more gelatinous. Like, it's almost like a soft boiled egg white. Just, it's not egg white. Prima soup pa. Cream soup pa suta. Oh, cream soup pasta. Doesn't explain much though. Oh well, I can just feel the jokes coming right now. Twitter. Hey Stoney, what's that blue drink you used to wash your food down with? Is it a magical drink? I would love to know. It is as magical as you'd imagine it to be. What do your parents think of your eating competitively? Um, they're really cool about it. Uh, you know, I'm really fortunate that my parents have been very supportive of all my competitive eating. At first they thought it was just kind of like this stupid phase I was going through, just having fun. But then when I started doing major league eating stuff, um, I made it to Nathan's and uh, I really started making some money and making a name for myself, 
then you know they've been supportive ever since. What is the one food where Morgan could out eat you? Uh, absolutely nothing. Not food earlier. What is your favorite video game council? And two, what is the game you adore most on said council? I gotta give it to the N64. Don't get me wrong, I love the Super Nintendo. That was the first system I ever had. But uh, N64, way better. What is the game you most adore on the game console? I couldn't choose it. There are so many good games on that system that uh, I have to punish myself to say that one game is better than all the others. That being said, I will give you a top three. Definitely Zelda and the Ocarina of Time. I beat that game at least a hundred times. I am very pissed off though. I never got that fourth fairy bottle. I even had to guide for the game. I, I, I missed something along the line. Wow, this is a winner too. Alright, so Zelda and the Ocarina of Time. James Bond, GoldenEye, 007. I clocked more hours on that game than I've been on this planet. Walking around with the dual RPC 90s just mowing everybody down. Best game ever. And last but definitely not least is uh, Mario 64. That game emulated everything that is good about the Mario series. I just vividly remember jumping in to that uh, big painting of the bomb, climbing up to the top of that thing and just whipping them around, throwing them. Also that womp womp where you're at the top and you have to like, you have to like stomp on his bandage or whatever. And then also that one like, cloud ship world. That was a hard one. And I always hated that fucking ghost level. That ghost level was the most pain in the ass, the one where you're like stuck in the cage. That was the most pain in the ass level. Some honorable mentions, um, Mario Kart 64, of course. Um, Mario Party, the first one was the best one. Same thing, Banjo-Kazooie. First one was the best one, and ever since that one, it was just, I don't know what happened to the series. Pony Ox Pro Skater. Oh, Pokemon Stadium. That was a fun game. I can go on and on. There's so many good games on that console, but it's enough. If you weren't doing competitive eating, what would you be doing? No idea. What contest would you like to compete in that you haven't yet? Um, I've been doing this for a while, and I've been fortunate that most of the contests that I've been wanting to do had the chance to do. Before this past year, I've always wanted to do an oyster contest. I had the opportunity to travel to Ireland for the World Oyster Eating Championship, and that was great. If I had to choose one, I'd probably have to say the Hooters Wing Championship. I couldn't compete last year because most of the qualifiers were before my 21st birthday. So hopefully this year they have it again, and hopefully I can uh, partake in it. If you're told you can go to any countries to compete, which ones would you pick and why? Obviously, I would love to compete in Japan. Competitive eating used to be pretty popular in Japan. I know there are a few restaurants around here that actually have like big food items. One of them recently made the news with this giant curry dish. Number two, kind of like I said with my food preferences, I'd love to compete in Korea. I love the Korean food. I love Korean food. I love the culture. I've also never been to Korea, so that'd be awesome. Also, I think it'd be fun to go to Australia because I've never been to Australia either. I nominate Matt Stoney for a shorty award in food. What the fuck is that? How old are you? Are you still in school? Um, I am 21 years old and yes, I am still in school. How old were you when you started competitive eating? 18. Do you watch anime? And if so, what are your favorite? I do watch anime. I don't have too much free time to watch anime, like a bunch of series all the time. I used to love watching all the animes in Adult Swim. My favorites were like Lupin the Third. Trigun, uh, Cowboy Bebop, Samurai Shampoo, and then one that I really liked that I watched on YouTube was uh, the Helsing Ultimate series. That was a really well done series. And then I tried to watch the One Piece episode, then I looked it up, and there's like 400 episodes or something? That's way too much. I used time. Look how awesome this thing is. This is like legitimate ice cream. Holy shit. 200 calories a cone. Must be some quality ice cream. There's ice cream all the way down to the bottom of the cone. Yeah, that one's a lot better. This one's more icy. That is really good. It's like chocolate mocha sugar cream. Like it's got this really sweet flavor. I don't even know what I'm eating, but. Whatever it is, it's good. How long before a contest do you start training for it? If it's a really big contest like Nathan's, 
I could start training anywhere from like three months before it. It's a smaller contest than uh, maybe train for a week before it. Um, and also, a lot of it depends on um, if I can even get the food at home. You know, like Nathan's Famous Hot Dogs, Daily Gyoza, um, my upcoming chili contest. I can just go to the store and buy all that stuff right off the shelf. Stuff like a slug burgers or something. You, you really can't do any of that type of stuff at home. How long do you want to be a competitive eater? Um, as long as it's fun. What's your monthly budget on food? I definitely spend a lot on food. The last one, I don't know why. I, I literally laughed for like five minutes when I saw this question. It's not that it's a bad question, it's just the way it's worded. Well, I'll read it to you. If I grew a mushroom that looked like toad, would you rather slowly watch it die or cherish it forever in your stomach? <laughs> I don't know why that's so funny. Well, first off, um, if you actually manage to grow a mushroom, <laughs> that looked like my toad plush. I probably would die if I ate it. As far as cherishing it forever in your stomach, um, I'm sorry to break it to you, but uh, if I ate it, it'd probably be out of my system within 48 hours. Unless it's like a rubber or plastic mushroom or something, it's not gonna be sticking in my stomach forever. Well, everybody, that is it. That is, that was a lot of questions. So, again, I'm gonna remind you guys, um, all these questions were from my Facebook fan page and or Twitter. So to give you guys your fair shake, um, I am going to make another video just like this one. Questions and answers from you guys out there watching me on YouTube. And also, I plan to set up some sort of Reddit AMA um, early in February. So yeah, that's it. Um, thank you for accompanying me with lunch. No, I do not eat lunch like this every single day. So thanks for watching. Hope you guys like this. I uh, hope it was a little bit more exciting than just my typical me being on camera talking. For those of you who don't know, I'm here in Japan right now on vacation, just uh, traveling by myself. I am going to be in Japan for about another 11 days. But yeah, uh, thanks for watching everybody and uh, have a good day.